Yeah, hi guys. So, so today I'll show you how I did the fuel rail setup. I already did one, as you can see here. But I will go through the second one. So, if once you got the TGV, um, if you got the same uh, radium kit, um, which is 20-168-02, so this is for doing the Subaru top feed conversion. Um, all you have to do is you get these ones, which are the injector seats. Uh, now these ones are 22 millimeter. If you got the TGVs here, now what I've done is um, I put a little bit of oil. Just use a cotton bud with some oil, just not too much, just a little bit. Just uh, press it in like that. Go, it can hear the pop. And do the other one as well. There you go. So fully snugged in. And then what you have to do is get the fuel rail itself now my injectors now these are Bosch 1000 cc injectors I had the bottom uh, o-ring with the adapter 40 millimeter but unfortunately it does not fit it doesn't even go in I tried removing it remove the o-ring and push it in still doesn't work so what you had to do is Remove the adapter there and then just slide it in with that o ring there, it'll snug in pretty nicely. Which you will end up like this once you insert it in, it just pops up just right. And if you look over here, it doesn't overextend or anything, it just flushes nicely. So, just have to push that one in. Oh, it's very hard with my camera. Good. There you go. And again, get the second one. Now again, put a little bit of oil so it goes in nice and smooth. And then just push it in. Now, because my injectors are the standard size, I had to use the long insulator here. So all you had to do is get the fuel rail and where the screws go in, just put it there and the same like that. And then you just need to hold it. Very hard with the camera. I'm using my mobile here, so bear with me. I'm just going to put the phone down and then push this one in. small insulators which goes in here just push it in and these ones are at the end are allen keys so we need allen key
just tighten the bolts. I'm going to tighten them a bit later again. So just uh, demonstrate how it came out. So here we go. So once both sides are done, it will look like that. Again, it sticks out. The injector sticks out nice. It's no loose connections. We got the pressure there. Just double check all the connections and tight it accordingly. Now the other ones, the spare parts, got a couple of them. I'll just let it be. And the next one is all I have to do is just install the dampener on one of the rails. Now this one just goes like that. Now I'll probably have to remove the rail just to tighten it, but just to show you, it'll probably be looking like that once it's installed. It goes underneath the rail, so it'll stick like that. And there you have it guys, so hope this has given you some information. I had heaps of problems finding a fuel rail for my EJ25 now that's a JDM version as well I originally thought it didn't have the TGV butterflies but if you look at my other video I did and I had to remove that I used uh, JB well to uh, cover those holes up and uh, that's it for now but stay tuned I'll be doing the rest of the setup pretty soon Thanks. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, so today I'm um, putting back everything together on my intake manifold. So if you check my previous videos, I showed you how to do the um, conversion on the side feed to the top feed using radium fuel rails so I got and also I did uh, spray paint the manifold as well again on uh, the standard red color which came out pretty all right so putting it back together so I had to get some more new gaskets I got some perma seal ones part number MS3691 if you want to have a look so just need to put it on top now so always check this uh, flat side on this one the other side is round and also if you check on the TGVs so it's got a flat end so just align it and just drop it in and I already done it on the other side it's just sitting there oh, and also remember before you put anything on just clean the surface because if you remove the old gaskets it usually sticks to it so I had to spend some time getting that one cleaned and once you put that one in then you have to get hold of your number 8 bolts and just get the manifold and then just align it to the board there both ends and then just drop it in Just doing it with one hand here. Yep, here we go. So once complete, it'll look like that.
and then just get the number eight bolt which goes in the middle here Take. I don't think it's, that's the right one. I hope you have to check my instructions, but yeah, so just put the two balls to make it secure and put the top two ones as well and then torque it down. Now the torque spec. Um, I got this from the net. This is IAG ones. Uh, if you're gonna torque it down, so the middle bolts need to be 6.1 foot pound or 8.25 newton meters. Um, once you put the other ones, the bottom ones, or on the side, it needs to be torqued down to 18.4 foot pound or 25 newton meters. Right, so I'll get that one done. Alright guys, so I have connected it. So it was actually number 8 bolts, but uh, much shorter ones. So connect those two, two in the middle, and two in the back. Alright, so once that's done, now I'm going to do is connect my AN6 fittings on both ends and then I can measure how long the fuel hose needs to be. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to use a thread sealant over here not put too much and then just tighten it and then so these are push lock connectors and I got my AN6 uh, fuel hose and also I bought some um, heat uh, insulators as well right let's do that now all right hey guys so just to show you what i've done now so i got the 6a in connection 90 degree bend uh, what i did was i just measured it and then cut the fuel hose 6a in i got a blue one with the push lock connection and then i also and, uh, did a insert on the heat uh, insulation for the pipe so that's how it looks like and then I connected it with a T connector so going both ways so I'm just gonna do the same on the other end as well now and uh, we'll see how it looks after that Alright guys, so that's all being done now, just to show you. So that's the throttle body, that's the back side. So this is the front. Fuel line comes in from the fuel filter. So the line comes in, fuel comes in, goes to the T-connection. Fuel goes into both fuel rails at the same time. Fuel travels through the rail to the back 
again both sides again comes to the T connector and then from there it will go to the fuel pressure regulator and from the fuel pressure regulator um, it will get returned back to the fuel pump oh, sorry not the fuel pump the fuel tank right so hopefully there won't be any leaks so it's always good to double check or just show you that back end how it looks like here you go kept it all pretty simple I didn't use any braided lines or anything like that and if you want to check the injectors it's just sticking out right there All right, so the next is I'll have to put this back on the car now. Now I have to use the gaskets and I'll go over that as well. Oh now also one more thing on, on the fuel rails. Now I showed you I installed the damper. So the other end I used a blanking plug, which is a 8-in plug there. And so that's nice and secure there right so hope you guys got some knowledge out of this this was the first time i did this as well i had to do a lot of research and i couldn't find any youtube videos so hope this helps anybody else any comments let me know and please subscribe show some support thanks